Welcome back. The shit has hit the fan. Malcolm Corley has been murdered by Ripburger. But Miranda, the reporter, got pictures of it. But then Ripburger got her camera, who gave it to Bolas, who came out here to kill Maureen. But Maureen got the drop on him. Literally. Also, it turns out Maureen is Malcolm's daughter. Which, you know, isn't actually that much of a surprise, considering the whole illegitimate Corley operation dialogue that was uh, going on between Ben and Maureen the first time they met. Let's take a look if Maureen is still here. And it looks like the answer to that is no. Looks like those toasters she hated working on actually saved her life in this case. I wonder, did uh, Ripburger and Nestor get her, or did she manage to get away? Hey, wasn't there a picture on the wall here? It's gone. Hmm. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything inside, so let's check the debris here for clues. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. So that's where that picture went. And it seems the camera is still there, but the film is missing. The big question then is who got the film? Is it Maureen or Ripburger? Let's hope for the former. And let's hope uh, Maureen is in fact okay. It seems the picture, which I guess she must have deliberately left out here to call attention to it, indicates that she might have gone to the Mink Ranch. She did say uh, she went there when um, she needed time to think. So I guess we should try to go there. We need the bike, of course. I think it was in that direction. I hope it was in that direction. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan, fast. Okay, that's not good. And those aren't the same cops from the gas tower, so you can't lure them away that way. Well, if we can't go up the road, I guess we have to go back the way we came. Maybe we can find another way around. And we can't actually go any further back, so I guess we have to look at what we can do here at the kickstand. It looks like somebody parked a semi outside the kickstand. This sucker's mine. And it seems that... We want a ride. Look, I really need a ride. I guess that would be one way to get past that roadblock. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anyone in it. I'm guessing the owner is in the uh, bar. Why else would he be here? Uh, 
Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. We've been framed. That's gonna make getting past that roadblock even more complicated. Let's see if there's any more to this news report. Members of the Polecat gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all-points bulletin. They got the Polecats. Latest reports suggest that the leader of the Polecats may have had an accomplice, a young mechanic. Maureen. The two are being sought by authorities for questioning in connection with the violent death of motorcycle magnate Malcolm Corley. Well, that's actually a good thing because it suggests that they don't actually have Maureen. Asked about the imminent shareholders meeting, Corley Motors Vice President Adrian Ripberger made the following statement. We cannot in good conscience go forward with the shareholders. He's up to something. He wants us dead before the meeting starts. Well, we know what he's up to. He plans to turn Corley Motors into a company selling minivans, the most evil of vehicles, I think. And obviously he doesn't want anyone to interfere with that. So he probably wants us put away before the meeting for that reason. Obviously, if we can help it, we aren't going to let him get away with this dastardly scheme. Authorities are still seeking the leader of the Polecats and his accomplice, both thought to be armed and dangerous. That's all there is. Let's see, I'm guessing this is the truck driver, Emmett, apparently. He doesn't look happy. He also doesn't seem to be very good at that thing he's doing. Let's see if we can get him to give us a ride. I can do that. I can't, but maybe men can. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Okay, that's not getting us anywhere. You seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon's scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? Not a very talkative guy, is he? That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around and said police business only. Pigs. Look. I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. Good policy. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quoho. Let's 
Mohawk his real name? If so, I feel sorry for the guy. Looks like Emmett isn't being too helpful, though. Although, even if he could give us a ride, he can't get past uh, the roadblock, so it wouldn't help anyway. What else can we do? Well, maybe we can find something around here. Ben! What? What the hell? The dumpster's talking to me! Hey! Ben! No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me! Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They'd kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. I don't think I want to know why she has those. My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? That's a very good question. Miranda's just going to stay in the dumpster? Okay. Also, was that a Star Wars reference? Considering this game was made by LucasArts, I'm gonna say yes. Can we kick the dumpster while she's in it? Take that. Quit it! <laughs> and that. Quit it! Okay, I guess that's our only reaction. Still, nice attention to detail there. I like that kind of thing. Okay, so we got a fake ID, but considering we're wanted, I have some doubts that's going to get us past the roadblocks by ourselves. And um, you can't actually try it. If you just ride up there, the same thing as before happens. Uh, ben doesn't even try to use the fake ID. But maybe someone else can use that fake ID, like a certain trucker we know. And hopefully if we give him that ID, He'll be more inclined to give us a ride. Might make him a little bit friendlier. Pretty mediocre fake ID. Hope no one notices the correction fluid under the name. <laughs> Very professional job. Well, let's hope the police are incompetent. Here. What's that? They usually are in this kind of game. Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use in one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's me Ranch. I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Weasel Down there plantation? On the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be an uncomfortable ride, isn't it? Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Especially when you're in the engine. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with your head. Jump, jump, yeah. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Pretty loud. All right, move along. 
Hope you really get your man. <laughs> Stop moving. Problem with your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose holes and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. But we'll have to make that happen in the next video.